Southeast Joanne legs at the board. Yeah! Okay, we're at the airport, we're making our way, and um, Jack is being a good boy. We haven't told him why we're going because he's afraid he'll be put on the rocket. fun meeting a lot of people thank you guys for coming out now me and Joe are gonna go check out the Megalodon stay tuned so it's raining out sort of and the launch got pushed back another day and so we're gonna go check out Kennedy Space Center today and see what they have going on but first we need to extend our stay at this lovely facility let's go we Okay guys, it's officially canceled, but we'll be back tomorrow. You guys are until Saturday? Saturday we'll all be back tomorrow. Hopefully watching from right here. What's up guys, I am here at the Falcon Heavy launch, which is courtesy of the Tesla referral program, Secret Level 3. Thank you to Tesla for inviting me. And what we're gonna do is go watch the Falcon Heavy's first commercial launch of Arabsat 6A 
from this place right behind me, which is at the Exploration Tower in Cape Canaveral, Florida. We get to watch from the highest viewing point in the entire area and one of the closest to the landing pads where the two Falcon 9 rockets are going to come down at LZ-1 and LZ-2 fingers crossed. But before we do that, I thought I would ask my friend Tim Dodd, the everyday astronaut, to explain to us what we can expect from a rocket launch. If this is new to you, if you're not sure how this goes down, he is the expert at it. So here's Tim explaining to us exactly what to expect tonight from the Falcon Heavy launch. Explain a rocket launch, huh Ben? Well basically you take a vehicle, you fill it full of uh, rocket fuel, you put the pointy end up and the flamey end down then you let it go. <laughs> well, of course, there's actually a lot more to it. And uh, we're only about two hours away from seeing uh, SpaceX's Falcon Heavy launch, which is an awesome vehicle. It's, it's only about five kilometers, three miles behind me here uh, at Kennedy Space Center. And this vehicle is special because it's the most powerful operational rocket in the world, and 90% of it can be reused. So those side boosters actually land back here on land, and the center core will land about 1,000 kilometers or 600 miles downrange on a drone ship in the ocean. So then the vehicle is actually able to be completely reused and go up to space again. And that is something very different, very unique, and uh, extremely groundbreaking and offers a very good glimpse for the future of spaceflight. So it'll be an awesome launch to see. All right, thanks, Tim. So without further ado, let's go into the event. About to leave, already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking, we'll get away. To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out Sam Jack, look at you. Oh my god. Right there. What? Oh my gosh. Jack, look it. Jack, right there, look. Oh my gosh. You got 
got it, baby. You got it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah. like hear anything I was surprised by how long it I mean you it like felt that? probably a long time because I had that anticipation okay. going but it was <laughs> so coming. cool oh for sure Joe Scott <laughs> first thoughts uh, well I was just saying on my channel that uh, it's you really get a different perspective on how fast these boosters are coming down when they land because on on YouTube like you see it from the core and I mean that's cool and all but but you really like they're just falling out of the sky and then in the last what 30 seconds they, they turn on the engines and they slow down really slowly before they land that that really stuck out to me that's something you'll have to kind of be here to see I guess it's like the uh, lunar lander right the game you ever play that where, where it's like you're coming oh, down and just nope. pfft, the, the one I fail at every single time yeah, yeah apparently Tim has the world record of course, of course he does <laughs> We hate you, Tim. <laughs> we love you too, but we hate you also. Dan, what do you think? That was cool. Um, I totally missed the shot with my camera, but I don't even care because I didn't even focus on it. I was just, I set the camera up, and then I just wanted to enjoy it and take it in, so I did that. I think it was fun. Yep, that was amazing. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want more of this kind of thing, my friend Tim Dodd that was in the video earlier and Joe Scott, who you heard from, we have a podcast called Our Ludicrous Future where we talk about things like Tesla stuff, SpaceX, uh, future tech, and just kind of what's going on in, uh, that's going to make our future even more ludicrous. So go check that out um, at ourludicrousfuture.com or here on YouTube. I'll put a link to it down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. And uh, thanks, Tesla, again for inviting me out. What a special day. Thank you for making it possible. Peace.